This is the six best investing books to read before you start investing, especially if you're a beginner investor. One of the most popular books is The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. Benjamin Graham is known as the godfather of investing, and he's the one that speaks about value investing. And it's a very dense book and very technical, but it basically tells you how not to lose your money in the stock market. So it is, um, it is a, a, um, an intense read and can be very technical. So, but it is one of the best books that everyone starts with. And um, also, when you're reading Benjamin Graham, you might want to check out The Interpretation of Financial Statements by Benjamin Graham because he goes over how to read financial statements. That's something as an investor that you'd want, you'll want to learn how to read, read stocks and read the financial statements, but more importantly, interpret a business financial statements to see how the stock, if it's sound, if it's growing, if it's profitable, and learning to read the annual reports and proxy votes. That's really important. And then number two, um, so we got the intelligent birds. I, I do like Beating the Streets by Peter Lynch. And he is known as being one of the most su successful stock market investors and head fund, hedge fund managers of the, of the century. And, you know, he started as an intern at Fidelity Investments, and that's one of your um, Fidelity Investments with the TD e Trade and TD Trade and Charles Schwab's. Those are uh, investment platforms. I did tell you about Webull and Robinhood because those are more um, free base, free commission free commission free base platforms and more beginner platforms. So um, I really encourage you to read. Beating the Street by Peter Lynch. I really, really find him wonderful and spectacular. And um, kind of, you know, you get to look into his mindset and he discusses how to decide whether you're going to buy or sell a stock. And and it, I think that's really, really good to see how someone who is super successful, uh, why he picks a stock, when he buys it and when he sells it. Those are important things. Do hold, buy or sell. And number three, the essays of Warren Buffett, lessons for corporate America. And we all know Warren Buffett. He is considered to be history's most successful investor. And um, everyone loves him. He is your billionaire that lives in the same house and uh, and he drives the same car that he's had and he puts himself on a little budget he goes to mcdonald's and he loves coca-cola and just everyone knows about warren buffett but if you don't i encourage you to uh, read one of his books and look at all his youtube videos you're really gonna enjoy warren buffett and he's about 85 and um, Charlie Munger uh, is about 95. So they're doing good. And he has Berkshire Hathaway, Burke A, B-R-K-A. That's the ticker symbol. And it's one of the most expensive stocks. It got as high as approximately around 300000 And right now I think it's about around $270,000 for one stock. Come on, smart girls. Come on, mogul girls. One day we're going to be able to own a $300,000 stock. Or maybe one of our stocks that we buy turns into the $300,000 stock. Or, you know, I'll settle for $10,000, $20,000. Sure, why not? <laughs> so I... um. He, you know, he believes what Benjamin Graham, he learned about value investing and he loves, uh, you know, purchasing businesses when the stocks are trading at a discount for their value. And he's, he, he also says, you know, buy what you know. So basically we're girls and we're, we're um, retail investors. We, so we probably know like, oh, what foods do we buy? We, you know, we love Clorox, 
right now we're buying Clorox, we're buying toilet paper, we're buying cereal, we're buying peanut butter, we're buying pasta, we're buying stuff on our shelves to be long lasting. Um, right now in the pandemic, we're really just buying the basics. So maybe some of those stocks that we see everyone buying at Costco and Walmart and Amazon and Target and the Kroger grocery stores, you know, maybe those are some of the stocks that we'll start looking at, and especially if they pay dividends and if they are undervalued or not so overpriced right now or overvalued so we can get in there um, while the price is good. So that's number three, the essays of Warren Buffett. And uh, a lot of people love Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kowalski. And I find the book to be you know, like this, this podcast is all about girls, encouraging girls and guys, people that normally wouldn't talk about stocks. Like when's the last time your father said, Hey, uh, okay, so let's talk about stocks. When's the last time your teacher in high school or college said, let's talk about stocks and stocks investing. If you put away a thousand dollars here and these stocks, when you get out of college, um, you're going to have you know, dividends and the stock can grow. I mean, really, no one talks about this stuff. No one teaches us how to compound our money, make our money grow, make our money work for us. And you get less tax if you make money in capital gains than you do when you get earned income. So that's why I talked about the three different kind of income. So, you know, earned income, paycheck income, or, you know, 1099 self-employed, you get taxed the most. But if you get earned income and cap and like if you sell an asset and get capital gains, that tax is less than earned income. So, and then if you are a business income, that's even taxed less. So those are goals to strive for as smart girls and mogul girls and guys and um, people that traditionally wouldn't learn about stocks and investing and how to invest your money and get the interest on the money. So Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kowalski. I love it. He really, you know, advocates invest investments to produce cash flow. And, uh, and just, he, I just really think that he's, he's, um, a good guy. And because of him, I saw that he invested in a startup and I just said, Oh, I know that guy, Robert. And I picked the stock, the, the startup and that start startup uh, went, uh, you know, exited within a year and a half. And so I was able to get out of the startup, which people say startups never, you, they don't exit. They're not liquid and you, you won't make money, but I did. So you can't listen to everybody because everyone's like, Oh, you lose money in the stock market. Oh, start starts are bad well there's the good the bad the ugly but if you're smart and intelligent being the intelligent investor being the smart girl smart guy savvy girl clever girl and you're gonna do your due diligence and when you're ready you know you're gonna be able to go on that climb up the um the pool diving board and jump into the pool of money and see where you land but you know after you read these books <laughs> And then Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I really like that book. Um, he's really positive and just really teaches you to write down your goals. And it's a just very short book, very positive, very, very encouraging. I really like that. And I'm going to go back to some, um, some other books. So that was five. And let's see. Um, well, since we're talking about Think and Grow Rich, well, you might want to, if you like Tony Robbins, he's a very good speaker and some people like listening to him. So it might just be maybe more simplified and easier since we're beginner investors. I want you to get as much information the easiest way possible so you can understand it. And so it's not over our heads where we just tune out, but I want you to really get excited about learning about growing your money and compound interest. So, uh, Tony Robbins, the master of the game. So he interviews um, a lot of the smartest and successful investors in the world. So I, because if you read this, you'll start learning the names of investors who are really smart and successful because I want you to be familiar with those names of those investors. And um, they say um, what you focus on 
and what you look at every day. So if you're thinking about money, 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 money's got to come into your circle. So um, it's good to always read bi biographies of people that are smart and successful and learn what they did. And so um, he interviews uh, these investors and tries to get them to tell tell them his secrets, how they how they got the investments. So um, common stocks and uncommon profits by Philip Fisher. Um, this is, you know, growth investing, which we want to have growth in our stocks. Why? Because our stocks go up. So, um, and Warren Buffett said he is 85% Graham and 15% Fisher. So if Warren Buffett is reading Graham's book and Philip Fisher's book, I think us beginner investors should read Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits by Philip Fisher as well. So, yes, because I want you to pick winners and um, ones that stocks that grow up. So these are the bonuses. Since you've been listening this long, I always give you bonuses. This book, A Random Walk Down Wall Street by Burton Mal Malkiel, M-A-L-K-I-E-L. So a lot of people in college read this book or you know, m probably more guys than girls, but it's, it's basically, you know, for beginners getting the stock market and it's definitely educational in how to craft your investment portfolio. So that I think would be really, really nice. And, um, it's easier to understand. And I think it's, it explains it at a level where we beginners can understand it without getting overwhelmed. And we'll also talk about index funds Diversi diversifying your portfolio and allocation theories. So let's see what else. Oh, oh this is a really cool one. Um, Millionaire Teacher by Andrew Hallam. And that's H-A-L-L-A-M. Millionaire Teacher. And this is a book that teaches strategies, basic strategies, um, so, you know, someone like a teacher could become a millionaire and it focuses on, on basically what you, what you need to know and when you need to know it. And it just very, it explains investing in a real easy um, way for you to understand. So I have some other goodies, um, since you're staying this long with me and enjoying the books, but I really encourage you. Um, to read Beating the Street by Peter Lynch. I went over that one. The Essays of Warren Buffett. And let's see what else I'm going to give you for your bonus. Since you listened to me this long, make sure you like and subscribe the podcast. Thank you for your Patreon um, uh, support and just being with us and enjoying the podcast. Um trying to get you some good stuff here that I have on my shelf that I've been reading oh oh yes this is the one that I I wanted to tell you uh the little book of common sense investing because sometimes common sense is just the right sense having a gut sense having a sixth sense but common sense they always tell you to have some good common sense so that's by John C. Bogle B-O-G-L-E um, and he, John Bogle, created the first index fund, and he's the founder of the Vanguard Group. You'll hear a lot about the Vanguard Group and index funds. And, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone says he and Buffett are friends, and everyone knows Warren Buffett because he's the investor king. And um, it, it, um, it just is a a little a book of common sense investing techniques and strategies and just you know if you want fair share of market returns it has a nice approach for investors and I think I really really like that for um, beginner investors and I enjoy this book a lot too and let's see what else I want to give you I think I've gave you everything um, I gave you a random walk down Wall Street by Burton McHale and I'm just repeating them so that you uh, can write them down if you're in the car you can write them down or just by repeating we will um, memorize things um, 
And then best psychological think thinking fast and slow. Daniel Kahneman, K A H N E M A N. Um, he's a psychological professor at Princeton University. So that.